In this video, we'll learn how to publish our episode using Anchor. Once you've built an episode that you're pleased with in the editing window, it's time to add a title and description. In order to do that, we need to click on the purple Save Changes button in the upper right hand corner of the screen. This will take you to a new screen where you can title your episode and add a description. If you want to add links to your description, simply highlight the word or website you want to link and click on the link icon. This will prompt you with a window where you can add a website you want to link to. This will be super helpful when you're linking to your guests' social media pages or any resources that you mention in your episodes. If you scroll down, you'll see a publish date and you can either leave as publish now or click on the gray box and choose a date and time you want to release your podcast. This feature is incredibly useful if you're setting a daily, weekly, or monthly frequency for your podcast and you want to schedule a few weeks out so that you're always ahead of the game. If you scroll down a little further, you'll also have a few more options. You can change the episode artwork by clicking upload new episode art. And this can be really nice if you want to feature a picture of the person you had on your show, or you want to add a picture that helps explain your episode. I used to change the episode art for every episode on my podcast, but now I just leave it as the original cover art so that listeners can associate all my episodes with the same cover art. It's up to you what you want to do. You're also prompted to add a season number, an episode number, as well as choose what episode type it's going to be. A few things I wish I had known when just starting out podcasting is that you don't need to add the season and episode number. And in fact, for a while, my podcast stopped showing up on people's feeds because I started numbering my episodes and then I stopped numbering them. So my podcasts weren't showing up on people's podcast feeds. The main takeaway is that if you decide to number your episodes, be sure to be consistent with numbering. If you decide not to number them, you don't ever have to think about it and your episodes will just be published in the order that you publish them. Some people like Joe Rogan number their episodes in the title of the episode, which can help listeners navigate through their long list of podcasts. And lastly, depending on the content you're releasing, you can indicate if your episode is clean or explicit. And once you've edited all the metadata of your episode, it's time to publish. Click the publish button in the upper right hand corner. If you haven't finished setting up all of your podcast information, you'll be prompted with a screen that asks you to verify your podcast category and language. Update all your information and click continue. This will prompt you with a screen that notifies you that Anchor will submit your podcast, which means it will make your podcast available on all the major podcast listening platforms like Spotify and Apple Podcasts. You have two choices. You can either click the purple Great Thanks button, or below that in gray, you can click the I'd rather do it myself. For most all cases, especially if you're just a beginner podcaster, I'd suggest letting Anchor take care of distributing your RSS feed for you. Even if you click great, thanks, you'll still have the option to submit your podcast to other directories later on. Depending on your show, it can take a few weeks for your podcast to start showing up on major listening platforms, but one of the cool things about Anchor is that your podcast will almost immediately be available on your public Anchor site as well as Spotify, since Spotify owns Anchor. For this example, I'll click great, thanks. And it's literally that simple. Your podcast is now in the process of getting published across all the major podcasting listening platforms. To view the episode that you just created, click on the episodes tab at the top of your screen. This will be where you can view all of your previously published or scheduled episodes. If you want to make any changes to your episode, simply click the three gray dots on the right hand side of the episode you wish to edit. Then click view episode details. Once you start getting listeners, this page will show you all of your analytics. If you scroll down, you can see the audio that makes up this specific episode. To edit your episode, click on the pencil icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Now we're back in the editing window if you want to add any additional show notes or change the date and time you want to schedule your episode. Once you're happy with your edits, click publish now. If we go back to your dashboard, you'll see that it now says our podcast is available on two platforms. This number will continue to go up as your podcast gets accepted on each of the major platforms. And that's how simple it is to publish your podcast using Anchor. I'll see you in the next video.